15 minutes until I teach my client of the day. I like to unload the car, feed Abby, teach my client of the day, and then water the collection, pour some resin, and edit for the rest of the night. Welcome back to the bubble. The car is unloaded. Everything's back to the side of the house. My things and art is in the studio. Plants are moved back in front of the gate. Time to blow through the patio and feed Abby, teach my client of the day. You want to sit for mommy? Sit, sit. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for my food. Bless me, make me strong. Amen and amen. So can you please eat your dinner? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eat your dinner. Hey, eat your dinner. Abby John. Hey, eat your dinner. Eat your dinner. Abby John, please eat your dinner. Eat your dinner. Are you not hungry right now? I think you should eat your dinner. Okay, very good. I'm gonna make me something to eat and teach my client. Whew, what a drive. Got some Amazon packages while I was gone, but most importantly, grandma's parcel arrived seven hours after I left for my weekend adventure. And this was meant to be for the bay and for the shop, but I guess it'll have to wait for a Rose Bowl weekend. So I wanna open this up. Hi, right, grandma's goodies, more totes. Big Island cookies, more aprons, ooh, more cactus mask, more succulent mask, we don't have these anymore, and then another apron, this one has ruffles, I wonder if, no, this one is different, this one is different, I might have to keep this one, Grandma. And we're definitely going to have to keep one of these for planting with Julian 2021 season, even though if I'm not doing as much as before, because we don't have this print. This is new. So pretty. So if you want any of the aprons or totes or face mask, DM me on Instagram. So pretty. Quick break. About to teach my client of the day. All right, here we are. 8.30. Taught my client of the day. Poured some resin. Abby and I showered. I'm making a pot of tea, Egyptian tea, and I just threw in a load of laundry. So I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try to edit a video because I only have tomorrow's video up and scheduled and I haven't edited for a couple days. So I'm really stressed out about that. So I'm gonna try to edit two videos, Thursday's check-in that I filmed today and a vlog for two days from now. So let's go to the workbench and let me share with you what I ended up doing for today's pour. So before I pour it, of course, I have to clean my stir sticks and cups. I have to throw away a small cup because it was just, it doesn't last forever. So about half an hour of cleaning my stir sticks and cups from the last time I was here and I was finally able to pour. I'm using my new glitters, so I'm going to do a back pour. Maybe when I'm done editing before I go to bed so I can take it out in the morning. And then I did some Monstera art some bookmarks, some earrings, and I'm looking forward to doing the second pour. So I really pushed myself to do this, but I'm not here in a couple of days. And next weekend is Rose Bowl weekend. So I definitely wanna have lots of variety because people tend to purchase more when I have more options, I've noticed. And um, I really like this style of the green with the variegation in it so looking forward to turning that into probably a sun catcher so I wanted to share with you Tanya's bloom be very very careful so this is Tanya's bloom and it turned out gorgeous I'm looking forward to putting this in a big round piece so this is my bloom and as you see I have to be very careful because I don't want to ruin it but it actually like it was pink and it turned like purple dried so kind of interested to see how it's gonna look in resin but I think I'm gonna put Tanya's bloom 
and my bloom together in one piece. I think that's gonna look gorgeous. Also, I noticed Tristan's Hoyas are here and they're dry. They came out perfect. So, there they are. And I'll take them out tomorrow and we'll put them into a piece. And it'll be fun to do something with it for him. And I love my new apron for Planting with Julian 2021 for my Planting with Julian videos on the main channel. Even though if I don't do it as much as before COVID. I like when my grandma gives me a new apron for the new planting season. It's so cute. So, so cute. Vlog is 11.30. I'm done editing for the vlog channel. It's just kind of giving me a little issue here. And I just got asked from a boutique shop owner to do a pop-up. She's trying to do like an artisan trunk show type of market outside of her shop. And supposedly it's on a busy street. And it's 15 miles from me in Studio City. Which I don't go because that's far from me. And um, she's going to be doing it Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I am going to be leaving Thursday for the rest of the weekend for Las Vegas. So I told her I can do it Wednesday. But I have to leave an hour early because I have a client to teach. And she said that's fine. So I'm going to get there 8 in the morning. And she's going to meet me there at 9.30. And then it's going to happen from 10 a.m. And I can bring Ebby. I can set up my tent. I can unload in the driveway. I don't have to cart my stuff in and I can park behind the shop and I can park behind the shop for free so I said you know what I'll just try it out and basically that means Wednesday I have no time to film or edit because basically I'm gonna be driving out there really early in the morning to get there at 8 because of traffic I'll probably have to leave here like at maybe 7 30 the latest so I'll have to get up at 6 30 and then by the time I'm done um, doing that pop-up and teaching my client is gonna be like seven at night I'm gonna have to make dinner for Evie and I I'm gonna have to pack up my place get the plant situated pack up my bags for the weekend and then leave early in the morning so basically Wednesday is non-existent for doing any YouTube work or resin work and next weekend is the Rose Bowl so I think I'm going to just focus tomorrow and making my last resin work and try to edit three videos as much as I can three or four because Wednesday I'm not going to be able to do anything and Thursday is my commute day and then I teach my client of the day right before I go to work and dance so I don't know if I'll be able to do anything on Thursday either for editing so I'm gonna pour my last layer of resin so that I can wake up in the morning and demold the letters and everything and then get to bed so very busy um, afternoon and night uh, coming back from a long drive because I got up really early this morning I filmed like three videos for the main channel did the five and a half hour commute back and went straight into unloading my car and teaching my client of the day pouring resin and editing it's been a very long day so let's go back to the workbench to do the last pour all right so here is the back pour and i made some extra artwork with the leftover resin i will demold these in the morning vlog, i'm gonna wrap up the video it is midnight i'm gonna stay up and edit thursday's check-in that i filmed this morning in oakland because i am behind on editing and i don't have much time to edit this week it is crazy and um yeah you know who knew that i would be doing one more market before the month ends before i leave i'm literally home for two and a half days and now one of those days i'm gonna be out vending all day so we'll see how it goes and i will share it on the vlog if you are new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day hope you guys enjoyed seeing my last half of the day arriving back from the bay area i was very productive today and i'm yeah i'm really happy about today so give this video a thumbs up and we'll pick it up tomorrow for my full day working from home i will see you then good night from santa monica california